Hi guys, so today I'm back with another video and this is one that I have been procrastinating a little bit just because it has been crazy lately. As you can tell by the title, the babies are here and it has been the most amazing but crazy past few weeks. I'm here to give the whole rundown on the birth, when it happened, how it happened, all the details. It's probably going to be a little TMI, just a warning. And I'm super excited to just share everything with you guys. I do just want to say in the beginning of this video that I've been getting a lot of comments saying that I... saying things basically like I'm glorifying teen pregnancy and just comments like that. And I don't want to go too in-depth in it in this video. Maybe I'll make a separate one eventually. But that is not the point of this channel at all. This is just to share my story and what happened to me. And obviously just by the feedback I've gotten, I know that there are so many of you guys who are going through really similar situations and are telling me that I'm at least being a little bit helpful, which I hope I am. I think that these next few weeks, months, years are going to be so fun and so fun to vlog and share with you guys on YouTube and just connect and have a little fam fam over here. So basically, I don't even know where to start. There is so much that goes into this. So to make it super simple, right now is March 11th. It's noon. I just got back from school. Babies were born on February 19th. And I went into labor on Monday the 18th. I'm going to be putting a lot of pictures and video snippets through this. Um, honestly, we didn't get as much footage as we wanted. It was literally insane the amount of people that I had to talk to. Um, just all the movement going on. It was crazy. And there really wasn't much time to pull out the camera and... Um, be recording very much and honestly most of the time I was sitting there in pain or I was napping or talking to the doctors so I'm just gonna be putting a bunch of the videos and pictures we did get all throughout this when I'm talking the 18th started out perfectly normal I wasn't feeling any weird type of way I was honestly just feeling the same I was with Josh that day actually he was back on break and he had that Monday and Tuesday off which is super weird timing um, so he was at my house on that Monday. About like 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to the bathroom and I notice that I'm bleeding. And that has always been something that I've just been very consciously looking out for because obviously bleeding at this point in the pregnancy is either something bad's happening or you're going into labor or just it's it scares me. Never wanted to see blood when going to the bathroom while pregnant. So seeing that did kind of like startle me just because that has never ever happened before. And um, I told my mom and Josh right away and my mom was just basically like okay watch it if it doesn't get any worse you're probably fine and you have a doctor's appointment the next day which was true I had a doctor's appointment already scheduled for that next Tuesday the next day I kept going on with my day I was going to the bathroom a little bit more often just to check it and it seems like it was kind of like getting less and less but then it kind of seemed like it was starting to pick up a bit um, as the day as the night kept going on it was just really weird and random so I wasn't thinking about too much about it and I had honestly just made up my mind already that no matter what I was just going to wait to go to the doctors the next day and say something then because what was the point of rushing it by like 12 hours. I made my mind up on that but about 6 o'clock that night um, I started getting really bad back pain and it honestly kind of felt similar to the pain I had been feeling in the few weeks before that just kind of like really intense nerve pain that was kind of just traveling down my legs and um but it was it was definitely a bit more intense so I just kind of was like all right that's a little weird I'm gonna just get a heating pad take a bath do something it's fine and that's always me I really don't like to cause drama or a scene about something that in my opinion is kind of small I started filming an intro um to another video that we were going to do. So I was filming the intro to that video and I started getting my first contractions. Later, I realized there was contractions in that video. I'm just saying I have cramps, but I can put in a little snippet of it right here. And some things that are going on tonight that is making me a little bit nervous. Um, and so tonight I'm actually gonna be packing my hospital bag just in case I have to go in there soon and I will explain why. I'm a little bit nervous and I'm also having pretty bad cramping, so.
going to Target to get some stuff for the hospital bag, and while I was in Target, I was literally dying. I was having to stop walking because the back pain, it was all in my lower back. It was super intense. At this point, I'm, start, I'm kind of starting to think that this may be contractions, so I'm calling my mom, telling her that I am in the store right now and this is getting a lot worse. She's asking me where I'm feeling it, I'm saying my back, and she's starting to like doubt me a little bit just because she was telling me that her, that it was all in her stomach and she could actually sort of feel her uterus contracting, and that was not at all anywhere near what I was feeling. It was not in my stomach, I didn't feel anything going on there, it was all in my back, so... I was honestly just pinning it to nerve pain. kind of just want to walk around just in case, like, any, I don't know, I felt like I should be walking around, um, not sitting down, and anyway, sitting down just was super uncomfortable, so I was pushing myself to just keep walking around Target, not rush going back home. So I'm doing that, but it's, start, it, it's really starting to hurt, and I didn't want to be out in public. So we headed home. Four or five hours later, it's midnight, haven't fallen asleep, and I'm in tears because... It just was getting worse and worse and worse. It was not going away. And at this point, it was in very clear contraction-like symptoms or ways. It was coming on really strong. I could feel it building. It would get really, really strong, and then I would feel it leveling off, and I would have, like, two minutes in between. It felt like that was a little bit weird just because that seemed a little quick if it was contractions but at this point I had waken up my mom Josh was super concerned he was running around the house literally running around the house trying to get some bags packed we had nothing ready he didn't have anything for himself to go to the hospital if we were gonna be there for a few days and so we're all running around I'm a mess and my mom's like you know what? I'm calling the hospital I'm like no I'm fine don't call the hospital I called the hospital so I took my sweet time dressed getting a minor bag packed because I'm still thinking that this is not contractions. So I got my ass in the car. Honestly felt like I just didn't want to waste anyone's time with the hospital going in if it wasn't contractions, especially if I literally had a doctor's appointment nine hours from then because it was about 12.30 in the morning when we got into the car to go to the hospital. We literally had one bag for me, one bag for Josh, and my mom had just packed a few little things and a pillow. We were just not prepared. So we went to our local hospital and they had, were expecting me, but when I got there I had to fill out a bunch of paperwork and the lady at the front desk was really taking her sweet time. Um, to write everything down that she needed for me. I was probably sitting there with her for about 30 minutes. The whole time I'm getting super strong contractions and she is writing question marks next to everything like contractions, question mark, bleeding, question mark. Mm -hmm. And your first name? Sophia. That's a pretty name. Thank you. I like that name. <laughs> what is your date of birth? Feb 16, 2002. 216? 2002. 2016? 2002. Yes. Okay. Like, I really just felt like everyone was looking at me and being like, you're fine, you're not in labor. And so I finally get in, put into triage. I'm sitting there in a bed in a robe. I could only bring one person with me, so I brought my mom. Josh was in the waiting room. And they're just, like, bombarding me with questions. I had, like, a nurse hook me up um, to get my, like, my blood pressure. She put the contraction monitors on me. And she left the room and said someone else was going to come talk to me. And then this training nurse person came in and was probably with me for another 30 minutes just asking me really random questions and the whole time still getting contractions and pain looking at my mom like help me as I'm just having to like answer all these really random questions and finally the first nurse comes back in and says so you are getting contractions but it's probably just like what are they called Braxton Hicks contractions she was like it's pretty normal, you're only 32 weeks, so we're just going to do an exam on you, and then if it looks like you're fine, you know, we can help you with, like, the pain, we can give you some pain medicine, um, but then you're probably just going to be fine to go home, especially if you have a doctor's appointment the next day. It was manageable, but I definitely didn't feel like going home and having to deal with it all by myself the rest of the night. Like, I did kind of start to get the feeling like something was wrong a little bit, so I didn't really feel comfortable going home at that point about to get the exam I really don't even know what I'm thinking I'm just waiting for people to give me like a confident firm answer on what's going on because I was so confused on what I was feeling obviously first time being pregnant first time being in labor I'm, I'm getting the exam and she looks at me and she's like looking at everyone else and she starts speeding herself up she's like she's in labor she's in labor 
This was such a surreal moment to be told like you are in labor, you're about to get on an ambulance and go over to the other hospital that has the NICU because you were only 32 weeks pregnant. And I'm sitting there like, go get Josh. But Josh actually fell asleep in the waiting room because it, it was, I was in there for a long time. I was in there for a long time. I think by the time we got like moving over to the other hospital, it was like 3 a.m. Get Josh in here and I'm like, I'm in labor and they told me I was five centimeters dilated. I'm feeling so many emotions at this point. I'm a little bit nervous because I was only 32 weeks. But one thing I didn't tell you guys was that a few days before that, I think actually like four or five days before the night I was in labor, I got steroid shots um, just because during an ultrasound it sort of seemed like there was something going on with their umbilical cords and the placenta and one BB was getting... Um, too much of the nutrients in the blood and the other baby was not getting enough. I'd be going in for three doctor's appointments a week after that, but there was literally no time between the steroid shots and me going into labor to, for me to even like have any more doctor's appointments. I felt relieved that I had gotten the steroid shots though at that point because there was enough time for them, for the steroid shots to like kick in and help out a little bit. But I was obviously still nervous, but the hospital I was going to is very 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 good so I was feeling good about that but just crazy excited overwhelmed in pain obviously I was looking at Josh and I was like I just cannot believe this is happening and he's sitting there all tired but just such a trooper and he's getting really excited too it was honestly just like um it was a very like happy moment also nerve-wracking but we finally got over to the other hospital and long story short I ended up um, only progressing about two centimeters more for the next like 12 16 hours and then um, I had gotten an epidural I know it's a little bit controversial but my doctors basically told me you are going to be getting epidural if you're trying to do this natural and even if you're gonna have a c-section epidural so um, we really strongly recommend that you get it and so at that point I'm just listening to them saying do what you need I'm sitting back like do what you need to make this birth go very smoothly I don't want anything to happen to them I was just really starting to get nervous I was hooked up to the heartbeat monitor and I was just like consistently listening to their heartbeats making sure that like they were beating because I was getting so nervous the epidural I was terrified for but it actually ended up being all right like I'm not gonna say it was my favorite thing in the entire world definitely not even close but it wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. It really was just like the numbing shot that hurt, um, but feeling them sort of push it into your back, I know that just like skeeves me out. It made me feel like uncomfortable, but it wasn't painful. So I don't know if anyone was like wondering about that because I've always wondered what an epidural was going to feel like before I got one. And um, not as bad as I thought it would be, but still not super fun but I did it and I was proud of myself for doing it I conquered a lot of fears I got my first IV which I was also terrified for um I don't know why just like the long needles no no at this point I am a happy camper good thing we had we packed really little clothes we did packed you pack our clothes? tiniest yeah okay yeah oh my gosh I can barely lift my legs right now no it's okay oh yeah you don't want gosh. to you're numb that's yeah. crazy it's good. So I'm just gonna help move your legs yeah. so just Thanks. in the way like you would as a, when you're doing a cervical exam. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh. Are you numb? Yeah. I gotta lean your head back a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Stop. <laughs> Remember I told you I felt like I had to throw up, but I couldn't feel my body? Um, yeah, that's like a horror story I don't want to hear again. Okay. You videotape so, her. I'm so shaking. Can. I'll do that. How you doing? <laughs> How was the epidural? I think I peed myself again. Again? <laughs> I'm not gonna check. I was only seven and a half centimeters dilated and I had been there for a long time. Um, it was going on about 20 hours now, 22 hours of labor now. It's like Tuesday afternoon. So this was happening since Monday at six o'clock at night and now it's about Tuesday afternoon. And um, they're like, we're gonna break your water and we're gonna give you Pitocin and we're gonna get this sped up because these babies need to get out of there and we need to get you into the OR room. So basically I had to give birth in the operating room just in case anything went any which way, needed to be able to get me right in. Because um, obviously with twins, it's a little bit unpredictable. So they broke my water, which 
barely felt it but duro did a good job for me um it really i did not feel any of my contractions for the majority of the time but after they broke my water i started feeling all of the contractions like i was telling them i needed more numbing medicine they gave it to me it did not help i felt all of the contractions and it hurt extremely bad after my water broke um it was so the worst pain. I was sitting there just trying to get my breathing under control. I hadn't gone to any birthing class yet or anything, so I had really no idea what I was doing. But my mom and Josh were helping me so much. They were just holding my hand the entire time, getting me whatever I needed. Like, they were running around for water, saltines, um, like, a bowl, because I really felt it was starting to feel nauseous. Like, I just, like, could not catch my breath during some of the contractions. It was just really, like, a lot at once after the water broke. We are just... Letting my body, like, just get the rest of what is that? It's, it's lip balm. You're going to need it. Your lips are already yeah, to smell that. It's all natural. <laughs> you're so cute. Can you put it on me? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Helpless Make Sophie. Make sure you spread your top lip because mm -hmm. you need some. I would say probably 30 minutes after they broke my water, an hour. Um, I was, they were rolling me into the operating room with my mom and Josh right by my side. Oh, all right, my camera just died. We were going into the operating room and um, honestly, like thinking back to it, I really feel like I could just cry. I really like can't even put it into words and I just feel like the only people who like will really truly understand how I feel is if you've had kids just like seeing them for the first time even hearing them cry for the first time touching them for the first time it's such a surreal moment and I looked up at Josh and he was crying his growth throughout the entire pregnancy just like amazes me and he was there so hard for me just holding my hand while I was pushing but he cut the baby's cords and was just so involved he was just taking as many pictures as he could trying to get it all like captured so that we could look back at it and it was just it was amazing I had like such a huge crowd watching me though there was like there was like 20 people in the operating room. There was a lot of students because the hospital that I went to is just like a teaching hospital and there were so many um, student nurses there. So they were all thanking me though for letting like them come in and they were so motivational while I was pushing. Where I thanked the epidural for so much was I did not feel anything below my waist. They were like, do you feel us touching you? And I'm like, not really. And I was asking them the weirdest questions. I was like, am I pushing? Because I just could not feel what I was doing. And they'd be like, oh my gosh, this is such a good one. You're doing so good. And I just couldn't even feel what I was doing. So I'm like, well, I, I don't know why this is so good. Like, it was it was just crazy. Baby A came out. His name is Luke. Um, Luke ended up being Baby A. Um, he was crying, and my heart was just like, oh. Like, I was so relieved. I just wanted to hear the crying, obviously, that he was breathing and that he was doing okay. And he was, but they kind of rushed him right off because, obviously, he was so tiny. He needed to be right in an incubator, and all the doctors were surrounding him. So then it was time to get Baby B. Like, this is where... It was just crazy like pushing two babies out right because you're supposed to be done after the first one but no nope. bb came 10 minutes later Luke was born at 4 17 and zeke was born at 4 27 so exactly 10 minutes um they actually had to kind of rush him out they were assisting me a lot to get him out because they his heart rate was dropping so as soon as he came out josh cut the cord and they took him right away like they didn't really lay him on my stomach like they did with luke because luke was actually crying and then placenta and then something that nobody told me what happened was they kind of like squeezed my stomach for like 15 minutes after like the whole thing was over. Like we're like pushing and like squeezing at my stomach which was now like just complete fat rolls and they were just like taking it in their hands and like squeezing like to get like um like it sounds disgusting but like to get all like the blood out and like all of the, like whatever else was in there like they don't want you to get like blood clots um that's what i think was so painful it was worse than pushing like i could say like it was just as bad as the contractions they were like pushing on my stomach so hard and they were like we're sorry we're sorry 
yeah it was an extremely painful experience like all throughout but like i would not trade it for the world i would go back and do that a hundred times like those babies are everything to me and that whole experience is just crazy and i think about it every single day and i just keep thinking like i want to go back and relive that it was just like it was perfect i really do think it was perfect everyone was so nice the nurses were holding my hands helping me coaching me through it and like no one was being judgmental or rude i didn't have anything like that happen so you would not trade it for anything and the babies are doing so amazing so as of right now like i said it's the 11th of march they are 35 weeks today so they have been out of my tummy for three weeks now luke is the chunker baby baby a he is weighing a little over four pounds right now and Zeke is a little miniature boo-boo he is I want to say he's like three and a half pounds or getting close to four he's catching up but he was um he was little when he was born he was about two and a half pounds I want to say when Luke was over three pounds and they're doing so good I'll obviously have pictures up of some current stuff that's that we've taken lately but I need to do a full video for you guys about them and my postpartum because my postpartum has also just been a complete adventure and um, there has been so many steps with the babies that they've taken and so I just feel like it's too much to put into this video but so badly want to do for like other videos now we should be able to start getting them out a little bit more rapid fire and I know that sounds weird because now we have babies but I have my energy back when I was pregnant, I had to be in bed by 8 and, like, sleep in till 8. There's so much stuff I want to, like, show you guys right now. But for this one video that I want to get out first, I just wanted to share my natural birth um, delivery story. Like, I'm proud of myself also for having a natural delivery. I was terrified. I really thought they were going to be pushing for a C-section, but they were very strongly pushing for me to try it natural. They really thought I could, especially with the babies being smaller and with it me going into labor early they were like we're confident you'll be able to do this we're gonna try it as long as you're comfortable and I was very comfortable with that I'm just so excited to share all of what's been happening in the future and present everything with you guys so please stay on the lookout subscribe so you can like see all these new upcoming videos meet the babies officially I really apologize if I left things out of this video it's, it was a full 24 hours of labor, so there were a lot of things going on and a lot of things that happened. So please leave questions because if you guys want, I can do a follow-up video, just a Q&A about my birth. If there's any details you guys like really want to know. There's so many details I'm willing to share that I just like kind of left out. So please ask if you guys have any questions. I'll do a whole separate video on that. I hope it wasn't too spacey, but um, yeah, it was amazing. And those babies are beautiful beautiful and me and Josh are just extremely happy right now and in a really really good spot and thank you all for the support even throughout the entire like while I was in labor um, and I was feeling good I was on my phone looking at all the comments with you guys support means everything to me and Josh you guys have just been really crazy like kind and supportive for us and we, it means a lot so thank you I want to show you more of the craziness going on and yeah I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!